What is up guys, welcome to another video that Kiki Guy here and today this is going to be a special video unlike anything else as today I'm given the opportunity to spoil a new card for Tales of Area. So the card that I'm going to spoil today kindly provided by Legend Story Studios is a card called Fulminate. While some warden fight with swords of thorn, other wield wooden spears of lightning, Fulminate combines two powerful effects when dual fuse, making your attacks both mighty and swift. So at a glance, we can see that Fulminate pitches for two, blocks for two, and it is an elemental action. So it is a non-attack action used to buff up your other attacks. So it is an earth and or lightning fusion. So you can choose to either fuse it with earth or lightning with each of them providing different effects. If Fulminate is fused with an Earth card, attack action cards you control gain plus 3. Now for all, for all of you that don't know what fusing is, it's basically showing a card from your hand to your opponent. So basically an additional cost. Now if you guys are familiar with Flock of the Feather Walker where you must reveal a card with a cost 0. Similarly, a fusion is basically just revealing a card from your hand, be it Earth or lightning or ice in this case we are only looking at earth and lightning if fulminate was fused with an earth card attack action card you control this turn gains plus three so this is a very powerful effect basically for this card because by fusing it with an earth card all attack action you control gains plus three so not only the next attack action but the all the attack action that you control while Fulminate on the other hand, if it is fused with a lightning card, attack action card you control gain score again. So this basically allows your card, your attack action cards to go wide as possible. So this is a very interesting utility card which I believe is going to see play in a bunch of decks. Now let's go into the a bit of a nitty gritty and speculation. So first things first. The first card that comes to mind is Exude Confidence. So you, if you are able to provide both Earth and Lightning card, if you are able to reveal two cards, Exude Confidence is going to gain 7 and it's going to gain Go again. So Exude Confidence reads, so your opponent has won't be able to play any instance or defense reaction unless they block it with a card with a higher attack. Now with 4 minutes, it's going to be a 7. Now it's not going to be easy to block that. Now if they are not able to block that with an attack action, they're going to have a hard time this combat chain as they are not able to play any defense reaction. Now the next card that comes to mind is Command and Conquer. Command and Conquer by itself is very strong for a cost of 2. It comes for 6 and if it hits the hero, uh, basically all the cards in the arsenal is destroyed. Now with the introduction of Lexi and her legendary head equipment, Arsenal is going to play an important part uh, in Tales of Iron moving forward. It is already quite important previously, but starting in TOA, it's going to be extra important as it is, it is provided that you will have multiple Arsenal if you are playing as Ranger. So Command and Conquer can benefit with both plus 3 and go again. So it's a pretty scary effect if used correctly. One other card that comes to mind is a card called Snatch. And all these generic attack action cards are the ones that are going to benefit the most. Of course, there are several cards being spoiled over the week. Lexi's lightning attack is going to benefit from this. And then Old Him's earth attack is going to benefit from this as well. As Old Him reads to be a ice and earth card. And Lexi can have lightning and ice card. So this card is going to be useful in both decks. And the rune blade as of the making of this video is going to have... Uh, Earth as well, so that's pretty interesting. However, to use Fulminate, you must remember it requires two cores. So two cores, it can be a bit finicky to play with, but which with enough setup, it is possible. There's a reason why Fulminate is a yellow pitch. So most likely you'll be pitching this away during the early game, getting it back during the late game. Now one way to play this is basically having an energy potion on board. So it does require some setting up. With the energy potion on board and Fulminate in your arsenal, playing out that way is going to give you a 4-card hand 
with powerful effects provided you have either earth or lightning card in your hand but if you build your deck correctly you should have either one or both leading to a massive turn and if you are on the back foot it's going to help you with your comeback thank you very much guys that's it that's the speculation i'm gonna go for and you guys have any thoughts just drop your comments down in the comments below they are my they are it is going to be a short video and there are actually a bunch of effects we can play around with this card it is i believe going to be a good card to play with and um i think most of the decks are going to have usage in this especially decks that have both earth and lightning cards so guys once again i would like to thank basically thank uh, lss for providing me with the spoiler card and uh, here's a quick video of me unpacking the card itself uh, a beautiful rainbow foil card lss once again thank you very much and thank you to you guys for tuning in for the spoiler card thank you very much for watching guys do like drop a subscribe i make videos on flesh and blood tcg tutorials uh, mostly tutorials uh, spoiler previews a discussion gameplay discussion and even some recorded gameplay thank you very much for watching guys once again see you guys in the next one bye